Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. Yes, we are a bit behind, but as you guys know, my busy schedule <laughs> uh, kind of has me a little bit backed up as usual. But anyways, it's about pushing forward, right? For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as hit the notification bell so you guys can get updated of the newest videos that are coming up. For those of you guys that have been with us for a while, welcome back, my lovelies. I do want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know, for those of you guys that shop on our online store, we have tons of restock. A lot of your favorites are back in stock, so you're definitely going to be able to find a lot of the soaps uh, that you guys love to uh, order that go very quickly. Uh, they are back on stock as well as our oils as well as candles that are specific, depending on what you're looking for. These are candles that are prepared, they are infused, they have herbs, they are ritualized through ceremonial rites to empower and strengthen. Um, so all you really need to do is just light. Anyways, uh, let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. I also wanna let you guys know that on our online store, you'll be able to purchase personal readings. You don't have to go through emails anymore. You'll be able to purchase everything on there as well as spell work, all the good stuff. So let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what we can expect for this month of March, 2022. Spirits, what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Please give us communication with the element of air. Finances and career with the element of earth. The challenge for this month here, element of fire and emotions and connections or relationships and partnerships, energy and element of water. And finally, spirits uh, message here, the general energy for this month of March. All right, Scorpios. Here we go. All right, my lovelies, we're starting off here with the Ace of Pentacles. A lot of growth and a lot of advancement in regards to your finances. I feel that for a lot of you guys, there is this um, energy that's quickly shifting. I am hearing for a lot of you guys, there is going to be the opportunity to purchase your home or to purchase a new home, uh, perhaps change of residency. Uh, perhaps for some of you guys, this could even be transferring to a different location uh, in your career or in the business uh, that you're currently in or doing. Uh, a lot of opportunities that are coming for you guys and I feel like summer is going to be very, very amazing for you guys in regards to your pockets and in regards to your finances. All right, with communication here, we have the two of wands. Two of wands does indicate hearing from a person that may be at, currently at a distance. For some of you guys, this could be communicating with someone that is not in um, necessarily your vicinity. This could be people or friends that are at a distance. I feel like there's news coming in for some of you guys in connection um, with your family or related to family. I don't feel like it's negative. I just think that there is a lot of movement when we're talking about uh, communication. There is a message that's coming in for you and it is coming from a distance. So again, it could be um, it could be a letter, it could be communication in regards to a text message, something that is related to a family, to family or a family member. Um, for others of you, this could be a love letter that you'll be receiving or some type of professing um, someone is opening up or finally having the courage to step up and uh, express how they're feeling about you, Scorpio. Next card here in regards to your finances and career, we have the strength card. So again, like I said, I feel like um, from now all the way to summer, it's going to be very good for you, Scorpios, because I feel like for some of you guys, you've been debating whether to continue where you're at or uh, spread your wings. For some of you guys, this could be you guys looking into uh, going into a different position or uh, a different position or a different department, uh, something that has been holding you a little bit back. For some of you guys, it could be the feeling of lack of confidence. Now, what I am hearing here with the Two of Wands and the Strength card, I feel that there is going to be, you're going to want to feel, uh, not want to feel, sorry. I, I feel like you guys are going to want to change certain things up in your life. For some of you guys, this could be changing your diet. For others of you, this could be getting a makeover, something that is going to transform you. 
um, and transform you more, more so in the physical aspect. So again, this could be dyeing your hair a different color. This could be cutting your hair um, or styling it different. For some of you guys, it could be a complete change of your diet or regimen, um, being a little bit more proactive. And, and the strength card is coming through very strongly in regards to being more confident. So I feel at the month of March, even April, there's going to be a lot of changes in your life, um, primarily having to do with you and yourself. So this could be, again, anything that has to do with growth, anything that has to do with uh, becoming better and, and being aggressive in uh, the efforts that you put into yourself, Scorpio. Now, when we're talking about the challenge here is the Two of Swords. Uh, the challenge for this month is to not remain stuck no longer, Scorpio. You need to get it going. You need to get the ball rolling. Anything that you've been holding back to, again, with the Two of Wands, if there's a new project or if you've been thinking or debating about doing something new, a new endeavor, uh, like I said, a new project, don't hold back. This From now all the way to summer, I feel like this is going to guide you into the path that uh, you're really going to be very passionate and focused about. For some of you guys, if you've been working really hard in your career and your finances, it's like don't stop now because you feel like you haven't gotten to where you want to be as quickly as you want. Now is the time to not like, now is the time to not um, put as much effort. Now is to maintain that effort and to continue marching on. Two of swords could indicate like not wanting to uh, expand in, 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 in the way you view things or the way you're proceeding or the way you are currently uh, dealing with your everyday routine life. And what they're saying here with the Two of, Sto uh, Two of Swords is don't remain stuck, uh, Scorpio. Uh, now is the time to think big. It's kind of like think big and go or go home. Uh, Two of Swords is an indication of having the need to stop procrastinating, stop making up excuses of why you're not doing certain things. I think it has a lot to do with your confidence or self-belief and uh, being able to um, being able to release yourself from that type of mentality and not see it as, you know, as an example, if you're wanting to pick up a new position or you're wanting to grow within your career or your field um, and there's like, oh, well, it's going to take a lot or I have to go back to school or I have to research or I have to. Basically, what they're showing me here is there's a need for some type of preparation. So if you've been hesitant about that, stop doing that because you're the only one that's holding yourself back. Stop creating blockages or limits that are not there. And finally, when we're talking about relationships and partnerships, we have the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Leo with Earth Energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. For others of you, Fire Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Eight of Pentacles indicates having the opportunity to put more effort into the connection or to be able to have and hash out a conversation about are we on the same page. It's getting to the needy greedy and figuring out where you're at at this point in time. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Till then, bye.